In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn picture into GIF. So let's just begin with this video right now. I assume that you want to create a moving GIF, not just a converted JPEG file to a static GIF. For that, you can use any of the available online converters and any website that can do that. But I assume that you want to create those nice and interesting moving images, GIFs that you see all around the internet. And because your pig doesn't move, you have to make it move. For this, you can use any video editing app. If you like iMovie, then that's it. I have my personally favorite one. I would share this with you, but it's not available on the, the App Store anymore for some reason. Not sure what's going on, but I've talked about this app before. So just upload a picture and depending on what the app allows you to do, add effects, make it move, do some stuff. If you have keyframes availabilities, then just make it zoom in or do, do something to make this image work and move at the end. This is how you actually do this kind of stuff. So now that you have a video of just a photo doing some things, perhaps you added text to it or whatever you decided to do, depending on your video editing app, then you have to export it as a video. You don't really need to focus on the quality because the quality at the end is not going to be the best, but that's like the point of GIF. I mean, it's not the best quality, but it's a short moving image. So you export the video and now you have it in your gallery. What you need to do now is to download the Giphy app. I prefer this one and you can try it out as well. So open it up and upload that video there and make sure to have your account and upload it to that website as your private one if you don't want anyone else to see it. And it's gonna be uploaded there and, and by that you have a couple of effects options, some very interesting ones. Make sure to play around with this, you can add text. Make sure to even resize the entire thing. I mean, the possibilities with this are just there and you can play around with this as much as you want. I prefer this kind of effect because it looks really good in my opinion. And with that, with that said, you have to make sure to upload it. And then after it's done, the, the GIF at this point is going to be at the website. So all you have to do is to click on a save to cam camera roll and that's going to make it show up in your gallery. And that is how you turned a regular picture that you snapped anytime to a GIF that moves and does some sort of thing. Well, I mean, you can also just upload the picture right to Giphy and do something with it there, but I suppose that you want to make it interesting and that's why you need to use another video editing app to create a video that you will turn into GIF. And if you already have a live photo that you want to turn into GIF, a moving image, what you can do is to simply open it up in your gallery and swipe up to reveal more options and the one that says loop is the one you gotta go with. It's not gonna be as clean and you can see the fade in and fade out, but at least this is what we have at the moment and it's the easiest solution. So in the camera roll, it's already gonna be a GIF, so you don't have to hold down to it with your finger like you do on the live photos. It's gonna start to play automatically when you tap on it. When you open the image up, it's gonna start to play. Or the third option would be probably the best one, but it takes, uh, I mean, it requires you to prepare it ahead of time, like in advance. For example, if you know that you want something to be a GIF, a moving image, you don't snap a photo, but instead you start recording a video. And no matter what type of the video you choose the GIF to be, you can cut it, you can edit it however you want, but you just upload it to Giphy and there you can perform all of the effects, the edits, you can cut it, you can make it shorter, and you pretty much turn a video into a moving image. That's how easy it is when you know at first that you want this image to be an actual moving GIF. Okay guys, I guess that, that uh, this is it. Hopefully I helped you a little bit in case you were wondering how you can actually use it. This is how I would recommend you doing that. And if you enjoyed this video, what you can do is to definitely support this channel with your subscribe, with your thumbs up. Make sure we see each other in the next videos as well and see you guys later.